when the beat drops out So my name is Mary Anthony, and today's video, well, it's just about me talking about Kevin Durant moving to the Golden State Warriors. But before I start out with that video, I just want to say sorry for not being able to upload for the days I have not uploaded. I'm not sure. I did not keep track of those days I did not upload, but uh, trust me, from today and on, there will be always a video ready for that day. So say... I can't do a video. I'll do a video today and upload it the next day or the day that it needs to be uploaded. So pretty much it's kind of like that. So I have decided on Monday I will I will upload the video for Monday and then for the whole week so that I'm ready to upload and I do not forget. It might be like that or it might be Monday I will upload for Monday or and then upload for Tuesday or uh, I meant and then make a video for Tuesday upload that on Tuesday then Tuesday uh, make the Wednesday video Wednesday Thursday Thursday Friday Saturday Friday Saturday Saturday Sunday it, it'll just go on and I will make sure that there is always a video out on the days daily trust me guys there will always be now i did say always to trust me last time but i did not i could not keep up so you know what this time i am going to upload do that whole schedule like i just said starting today so basically today's video is today's video which is today and then tomorrow's video i might have the same shirt or i might change it up just uh to make sure but if you have already seen this video you know why i might have the same shirt and so tomorrow if i have the same shirt you know that i have stuck to that thought and so um anyways let's get to talking about kevin durant shall we okay guys so as you know kevin durant did move to the golden state warriors um about three or i think it's already a month late no i don't think so it's probably two or three weeks already that he's moved to golden state and a lot of people are hating on it i've seen people burn his shoes his jersey i mean everything that's of his and uh but you know what if even if i were an oklahoma city fan which i'm not i am a golden state fan which I'm not going to go out and be like, oh, they're going to win the finals. They're going to go 82-0. and 0. They're going to be so good. No, it's not really like that. It's it's that if I were an OKC fan, I would appreciate, I would just appreciate his move. I mean, it's not bad. It is his life. He can do whatever he wants. And I mean, if he thinks he, if he thinks, like, if he wants to get a ring, I think I would appreciate that because obviously I would want a ring and if Oklahoma wasn't that right team then I wouldn't stay with Oklahoma and I would go to a team that could be that could assure me or basically in this this in this um thought it's actually assuring Kevin Durant that they can at least get into the finals hopefully get that ring but, I mean, Kevin Durant did sign, what is it, uh, I think it was a two-year contract with the Golden State Warriors. So there is a possibility that he will get a ring in those two years if it was a two-year uh, contract. So it's not bad. I mean, say you get a ring, say you go to the finals for Kevin Durant's uh, two-year contract. Well, then that's basically like... Um, and they get a ring for those two years with Kevin Durant. It's pretty uh, obvious that uh, if I were Kevin Durant, I would sign a bigger contract if he wanted to. But, I mean, if you get a ring, I think that's already enough. If you want, because if he did sign a two-year contract, which I'm pretty sure he did, then maybe he can get a second ring. I do not know. But, yeah, like I'm saying... uh. I, if I were an OKC fan, I would appreciate that. Now, obviously, I got hyped up when he moved here, moved to Golden State, which, I mean, I was so hyped. I was like, oh, we we have a good chance of going 73-9 and nine again. 
But that doesn't mean we can. I mean, it doesn't mean we're gonna win the finals, go 18, 82 and oh. It doesn't mean that. I mean, think. Okay, you got Kevin Durant, an MVP. Then you have Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green. How about Andrew Bogut? How about those other people? Um, and then you did have some other, and then the drafted players, which they were, I'm guessing they're, they could help a little bit with the Golden State Warriors. I mean, I'm not hating on them. I'm just thinking of the Summer League. Well, maybe they just weren't, um, the drafted players from Golden State, they just weren't in it yet. And so they need to get into that, uh, flow of, uh, you know, getting, getting into the NBA and shooting like NBA stars. So, yeah. So those drafted players who played in the Summer League, they probably weren't getting, they probably weren't ready. But you know what? Who knows? Maybe after that contract they have signed, which I think it's a four-year contract or a three, two-year, I don't know how many. I think it would be a three- or four-year contract for each, uh, each of the drafted players that were drafted in this draft. And you know what? Who knows? They could probably be stars. Now, obviously, like I said, Golden State probably might, they might get 73 and 9. Or there's obvious, no team can go perfect 82 and 0. That's only in a video game. That's only in 2K16. Well, yeah, I guess it's only 2K16 if you create. I mean, there it is an ultimate team, so you can easily do that. But, I mean, Golden State, they're at least going to lose three or f five or three games at least. To the least, one through five games uh, around that number uh, line. They're going to lose that many games. So, say they lose two games. Okay, then. You go 80 and 2. Not bad. I mean, but... It, it might be assured that they could go t to the finals. Well, it's assured that they will go to the playoffs. Speaking that Stephen Curry does not have any more problems with his ankle. And Kevin Durant plays like he played in Oklahoma. So if they play like that, they're obviously going to the playoffs and hopefully go win in the finals. Now... Speaking of Oklahoma, it doesn't mean they're not going to make it. I mean, there has been talk of Westbrook being traded. But, uh, you know, I've heard Westbrook does not want to be traded. And, you know what? If I were Westbrook, I probably wouldn't want to be traded. Because, I mean, you want to help your team uh, go to the finals or even the playoffs. But, I mean... You know, with Westbrook, and then who else do they have on there? I'm not sure. I'm not an OKC fan, but I do know Westbrook might be traded. And it's not up to him. It's pretty much up to the coaches. If they find a deal that they want, like to the Lakers. If the Lakers offer the Thunder a deal that is perfect for Westbrook, then Westbrook has nothing to say other than, okay, I'll go to the, I'll go to L.A. Uh, but like I said, it's all up to the coaches. If they get a good deal for Westbrook, well, it's it's no he, Westbrook can't do anything now. Obviously, no one chose it for Oklahoma. No one chose him being traded for uh, Kevin Durant. He just picked that he wanted to go to Golden State, which. Like after I was getting all hype, I was thinking, but we just beat Oklahoma. In the playoffs but I mean like I said I respect that choice and if you want to ring you can go ahead and go to that team that will at least assure you a finals trip in a playoff trip a trip to the playoffs and to the finals and maybe assure you a ring but yeah it's that's kind of my thoughts of um that's kind of my thoughts of Kevin Durant moving to the Warriors. And, uh, anyways, what I'm saying was, uh, Westbrook, if he stays with Oklahoma, then there's, it's not, it's, like, I'm not sure what I'm about to say, but it's not like Oklahoma has no chance anymore that they can even go anywhere. There, there's, there, it's not like that. 
I mean, let's see. I mean, if you still have Westbrook, then it's kind of obvious that they could probably go to the playoffs. At least probably without Kevin Durant. I mean, without Kev with Kevin Durant, I'm not sure how many trips they made to the playoffs. But it wasn't that big enough. But, uh, you know, Kevin Durant now moving and now only Westbrook by himself. He they could go to the playoffs or they could not. Um, but you know what? They still have good players on the Thunder. And they still have a lot, a whole lot of other teams that could go against the Warriors or the thunder so i'm not hating on uh uh the oklahoma i'm not hating on oklahoma city i mean like i said kevin durant if you want to choose that you want you can't just you want to get a ring choose that and i'll respect that i'm not just saying that because i'm a warriors fan trust me if i was an oklahoma city fan I would respect that. I would not get mad. I would just res so take it as okay. Steph Curry moves where to the Lakers or Minnesota, anywhere. He moves from uh the Bay Area. I would respect that. I'm not sure why he would choose to move, but you know what? I would respect that move because I know that there are some players now in the. Pro, uh, pro athletics, like in football or basketball, hockey, everywhere. Well, probably not hockey, but baseball, any other sport. When they grow, they probably want to go with another team because they have grown enough and they want to test out their limits with a better team. So I think that's what Kevin Durant was kind of thinking when he moved to... Golden State was uh, Oklahoma. He's made a great influence on Oklahoma. Great uh, move. And now I think what he was thinking was, okay, I'm doing great here, but now I want to test out my skills in a better pro team. So then you would choose one that already has a star. Like, um, what? Like Golden State or... Uh, Cleveland. Ho luckily, he didn't choose Cleveland. I mean, seriously, Cleveland. Uh, I mean, still, I would respect his move. But he did choose Golden State, which I think it is a very good choice because, I mean, sure, you do have, uh, what, on the Cleveland, you have LeBron, Love, and uh, Irving, which is already three good players. But then... You do have Warriors where you have Green, um, Thompson, Curry. Then you add Kevin Durant's pretty good. And then, I mean, you take it as a coach. Maybe he was just thinking, okay, the coach seems like someone who can help me and uh, who's into the team and wants them to win. So maybe it's like that. And so he decided to choose that. Uh it's okay, and you know what? Maybe he just thought of other things other than they had star players there. Maybe it's not just because of ring. Maybe he just wanted, like I said, wanted to test his skills in a better pro team instead of Oklahoma. Which I'm not saying Oklahoma isn't a pro team. It is. They have, they're a very good team. And you know what? If Kevin Durant did not move to Golden State, they they could still go to the playoffs. Let me tell you that. So, I mean, every team here is a pro in the NBA now is a very pro team. A lot of people are moving. Dwayne Wade moved. Who else? Uh, Kevin Durant. I think and the rest were traded. So, that's basically my thought on Kevin Durant moving to the Golden State Warriors. Now, I know this is a little late to talk about this, but you know what? I wanted to start, I wanted to talk about this video where all, not a lot of drama was happening anymore because with a lot of drama, when you talk about this type of stuff, when the drama is still going on, you don't want to talk about this or you will get lots of hate, and I probably will get a lot of hate. I mean, I'm, I've people have called me a bandwagon just because I'm a Golden State fan. I don't care, and I don't care what you think, okay? Have you, uh, you probably have heard the saying, words, uh,
Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Well, that's me when I see these comments. And so, you all, go ahead, call me a bandwagon. But you know what? At least I'm not hating on any other team. I mean, like I said, every team now in the NBA is a very uh, good team. So, like, Cleveland, they got to win the finals. I was not happy about that. But you know what? I, I did not get really mad. I was just mad. You know, I was just disappointed that, like, we couldn't, we didn't win the finals. It's not that we didn't play good. We played our butts off. That's what we did. We played so hard. But, uh, you know what? Cleveland just came up on top, and you know what? I wasn't that mad. I was just, you know, I was disappointed we couldn't win the finals, which we could. Just, again, like I said, Cleveland went on top, and you know what? I was just disappointed. I did not go and hate on, like, uh, LeBron James, which I don't really like him a lot, but, you know, I didn't go hate on him, burn everything, like, burn my, uh, LeBrons, I didn't do that, I did not do anything like that, so, uh, that's my thoughts, other than that, guys, make sure to subscribe, comment, like, favorite, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and I'll see you guys in my next video, peace, also, and before I leave, I am, if there are subscribers on my channel that are, Cavs or o Oklahoma fans or any other team, uh, they might unsubscribe, but hopefully they don't. Um, I'm looking to keep keep that grow going instead of losing subscribers. So, uh, like I said, from now on, there will be daily uploads, and uh, that was my thoughts on Kevin Durant moving to the Warriors. Uh, but yeah, after all that, uh, I'll see you guys. Peace!